Fourth grade Common Core Math teaches repeated subtraction for long division. And while this looks like the standard algorithm for long division, it's a little different, and the reason I like it is because you don't have to find um, the you don't have to find the product down here that is closest to 34 when you're dividing, which you'll see and I'll explain it. So if it seems new and you're like, what's going on? That's the biggest deal. And hopefully you'll see as I go through the explanation, that's why I like it better. And just like any long division problem, I'm going to think, how many times can my divisor go into my dividend? Or in this case, how many times can 4 go into 3? Well, 4 can't go into 3. So now I'm going to include the next digit, which is a 4, and make, make my dividend 34, and say how many times can 4 go into 34? And like I say down here, just think, what is a multiple of 4 that is less than or equal to 34? And here's where you don't have to necessarily find 32. You can use any multiple of 4 that is less than 34, and it'll still work. In this case, we'll go ahead and use 32. 32 is a multiple of 4, and it's less than 34. So, we're going to write that underneath 34. Make sure we line it up. Two-digit number, two-digit answer. And so we're going to think 4 times what number equal 32? Here's the division part. And either using a table or a memorization, hopefully, if you've got all these memorized, we know that 4 times 8 equals 32. Different from the standard algorithm that most people remember, we're not going to write the answer up here. We're going to write the answer over here. And there's a reason for that, which you'll see as we go along. So inside, well, if I didn't tell you from the beginning, you should have a box over here drawn. It doesn't have to be a fancy color like mine. Just draw a little box, and you're going to write all of your um, answers that you get here in that box. And the only slightly tricky part now is what we really did is we multiplied 4 times 80 because we want to write down 320. We want to put a 0 here underneath the 8. We want to put as many zeros as we need to after our answer here to match how many, zero, how many digits are in uh, the dividend up here. So there's three digits. I only had two digits down here. I need to add a 0 here to make it three digits. If I add a 0 here, I need to add a 0 over here in my box. All right? If I were to add two zeros, I would add two zeros, and it would be 800 if there was another digit here. Okay? So just remember that. Always add zeros to make your digit numbers match, and then make sure you write the add, add the zeros there. Because what we really did is we multiplied 4 times 80 to get 320. Then we're going to subtract 320 from 348, very similar to the standard algorithm, which gives us a difference of 28. We write that down here. And now we're going to think, what is a multiple of 4 that is less than or equal to 28? So same thing. How many times can 4 go into 28? Well, we know that 28 is a multiple of 4. So we're going to use that one. Write it down underneath our 28 and think 4 times what equals 28? 4 times 7 equals 28. So in our answer box, we're going to write a 7 here. But be careful when you write your 7 over here. It's, I'm not going to write it underneath the 8. I'm going to write it underneath the 1 here. Because it's only going to be a one-digit answer. You can jot it down here, but if you'll notice when I write the 28, underneath the 28, I don't have any extra digits in my dividend, so there's no reason for me to write a 0, which means that I need to move this 7 over here since I'm not adding any zeros. Okay? So always line up your numbers in the box by place. If this was 80 in the first case and 7 in the second case, you want to make sure they're lined up. Then I'm going to subtract 28 from 28 back in my problem. Now I'm going to add up the numbers that I put in the box. In this case, there's only two numbers. You'll see in my next series there could be more depending on what multiples you put down here. 80 plus 7 is 87. And so for the problem, 348 divided by 4, the quotient, is 87. And now after adding up all these numbers, I write them up at the top of my answer. Watch the second video to see what happens if you don't find the closest multiple when you're working this out. You'll still see that you get an answer.